This is so great that we can spend time together as a family and enjoy this meal at Thanksgiving. You said it, Bob. And all the delicious food Annie made? Oh, Aunt Agnes, you're too kind. Annie, go fetch that idiot brother of yours. Let go, you witch! I was just about to level up in Warcraft! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and that nerd fest can wait till after dinner and sit down and enjoy your food. I don't what was that? Nothing. Why did I need counseling? No, that boy needs to go. I hate this family! Oh my god! Hi, I'm your host, Andrew, and welcome to another episode of YC Weekly. Thanksgiving's right around the corner, which means food, family, and lots of stress. As you saw in the last scene, Thanksgiving can be a very stressful time for a lot of people, especially for Paul who had his entire family gang up on him. If your family is just as dysfunctional as Paul's, fear not, because we have three surefire strategies to get you through Thanksgiving without you burning your house down. In today's modern climate, people have varying views and feel strongly about a range of different ideas. Meaning, if politics come to the table, there will be fighting, which will lead to stress and everybody feeling in a sour mood. If some people are looking forward to talking politics because they want to discuss their ideas or just have a rousing debate, make space for them to go to after dinner where they can debate while everyone else can enjoy themselves in another room, thereby avoiding havoc and a major headache. The best way to avoid this is to set some ground rules. Ask your family if they can avoid talking about politics at the dinner table. Thanksgiving is a time when those relatives you haven't seen in years come to visit, which means a lot of time you will be in the center of the discussion, meaning they will embarrass you and sometimes unintentionally bully you. That kind of environment can be uncomfortable for many, and there's no way out. But never fear, the YC Weekly is here! One way you can avoid being uncomfortable over the holiday season is to set up countermeasures prior to the event, such as your family talking about your grades or something else that may make you uneasy. You could excuse yourself and eat your meal elsewhere, or you could try to change the subject with a common talking point. But only do that if you know you can sway them, otherwise they may focus on you more than before. It's the holiday seasons, and no one wants to be left out of the fun. Even though we all get on each other's nerves at times, deep down we all care for one another. Meaning, regardless of someone's opinions or ideas, don't ostracize them. Instead, find things that everyone can do together as a family thereby bringing people closer together and breaking boundaries that set us apart. I hope these strategies help you survive Thanksgiving and enjoy the time you have with your families. I hate all of you, bye! Be sure to like our Facebook, follow our Twitter and Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. 